Good morning. Today's lesson is 10.3. Area of a triangle. Our essential question, how can you find the area of triangles? Any parallelogram can be divided into two congruent triangles. That means equal triangles. The area of each triangle is half of the area of the parallelogram. So the area of a triangle is half the product of its base and its height. We did this yesterday, right? So our area of a triangle is half base times height, where B is the base and H is the height. So here's my parallelogram, I cut it in half, and that's my triangle. So let's unlock the problem. The Flaretrin building in New York is well known for its unusual shape. The building was designed to fit the triangular plot of land formed by 22, 22nd Street, Broadway, and 5th Avenue. The diagram shows the dimensions of the triangular foundation of a building. What is the area of the triangle? So first we're gonna write, we're gonna write the formula, which is area equals half the base times height, right? And now we're going to substitute the 190 for the B, because there's my base, 190. And then we're going to substitute the 79 for the H. So let's put that in. So we have 79 times, oh, sorry, it's actually base, which is 190, 190. And then this one is 79. Oh, I didn't do this. How can you identify the base and the height of the triangle? So the base is one of the sides of the triangle, and the height forms at a 90-degree angle with the base. So here's my base, and then there's the 90-degree angle, and then there's my height that forms at the 90-degree angle. All right, so now we're going to multiply the base and the height. So we have our area equals half 190 times 79. There's my 190 times 79. So 190 times 79 is 15,010. And then I'm going to multiply by half, which is essentially dividing by 2, right? Because when I multiply this by half, put a 1 over there, it's essentially you get 15010 zero, zero over 2, which is this divided by 2. And when I divide it by 2, I get 7,505, 7,505 feet squared. Got to make sure you have your squared when you're doing area. All right, find the area of a triangle, write the formula. So again, our formula is area equals half base times height. So we're going to substitute the 4 and 1 fourths for the base, because there's my base, 4 and 1 fourths. And we're going to substitute 3 and 1 half for my height, because there's my height. So let's do that. So my base is 4 and 1 half, and my height is 3 and 1 half. So we're going to rewrite them as mixed numbers. Remember the way we do that. So I'm going to take this 4 and 1 half. I'm going to rewrite it as a mixed number. I multiply the 4 and the 2, and then I add the 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 1 is 9, so it's going to be 9 over 2. And then let's do this next one. 3 and 1 half, so I multiply the 3 times two, the 2, which is 6. Then I add the 1, which is 7, so I'm going to get 7 over 2. This allows me to actually do the problem now, right? So now I have 9 times 7, which is 63. Um, times one is um, times one is six, still sixty three, so I get sixty three. And on the top I have two. On the bottom I have two times two times two. Two times two is four. Times two is eight. So I'm going to get sixty three over eight. And then I need to turn it back into a mixed number. And eight goes into sixty three seven times with seven left over, and I keep my eight on the bottom. So the area of the triangle is seven and seven eighths feet squared. All right, example two. Daniela is decorating a triangular pennant for her wall. The area of the pennant is 225 inches squared, and the base measures 30 inches. What is the height of the triangular pennant? All right, so this is the opposite. It's kind of like we did last time. So we know the area, we know the base, but we do not know the height. We do know the formula, so now we can plug it in. So if my area, there's my area, I'm going to plug in 225 for my area. So 225, okay? I also know my base, so I get to plug in the 30 for the base. Oops, I meant to plug in 30 for the base, not B. <laughs> there we go, let's fix that. Okay, but I don't know my height. Now, I need to get it alone, right? So first, let me multiply the 30 times the half. So my half times the 30, and then remember, whenever it's a whole number, I just put a 1 underneath of it. So I get 1 times 30, which is 30. I get 2 times 1, which is 2. And this is essentially saying 30, and this line says divided by 2, and 30 divided by 2 is 15. Okay, now I'm down to this next sec 
section. So now I still have my area, and now I have 15 times h, okay, or 15h. So in order to get my h alone, because that's my objective here, so I can find out what h means, I have to do the opposite. And if this is multiplying, the opposite is going to be division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 15, which is going to get rid of the 15 on this side, leaving my h all alone. And so I get 225 divided by 15, and 225 goes into 15 15 times. So h is 15, so that means my height is 15. And you can check your work by multiplying 15 times 30, dividing it by 2, and you should get 225. All right, share and show. Again, it's pretty easy. So we have our half base times height. So we know that our base is 14 here. They already wrote it. Our height is 8, right? So I'm going to multiply uh, 14 times 8, and then I'm going to divide that by the 2, and I'm going to get 8, or I'm going to get 56 centimeters, right? Because 14 times 8, and then I divide that all by 2, and I get 56. Super easy. The only one that's kind of tricky down here, remember when we have our area, we're going to plug in our area into the formula. That's going to be our equal, area equals, and we have our base times our height. And on this one, our base is 80, and we don't know our height. Oh, remember, we got to have our half. There we go, half times. Okay? So on this one, remember, we multiply half times 80. Okay? And then we divide both sides by whatever you got from that. And then you're going to get the height over here. All right? Good luck. I am on the carpet if you need me. Or you can work with a partner.